Hello everyone and uh, today I will be telling you, discussing with you the NEET PG exam uh, memory based questions. The first question is 3 day old neonate with TSH is greater than uh, 1000 USG is showing the utopic thyroid gland. So what is the next line of management? No antibodies will be, che no antibodies will be checked and uh, no urinary iodine levels will be checked. We will be doing the next management technetium technetium scan now in turn making a discharge of uh, 27 year old primary admitted for vvf management of vvf now advice at time of the discharge will be eight three months absentees this is three months absent from sexual intercourse and no pregnancy for at least one year interval no acceptable drugs for conducting mtp this is mifepristone and mesoprostol now six year old male came with recurrent uti with mcu picture given below see this is a vur clear shot vesico uteral reflex you can see reflex up now next is a urethral injury with blood at the tip of the penis and rg given so what is the injury rg is a injury is painless it is a membranous injury and an rg it is uh, butterfly pattern so not spillage so this is membranous now history of toe gangrene with impotence with which vessel is affected if uh, toe gangrene with impotence is mentioned this is Lerich syndrome and autoiliac vessels are involved now bladder extrophy image so omepho seal is the answer this is very much most commonly repeated question asked now history of fall on left side of, of a child with bruises over the chest and shoulder coming supporting your le left hand with the right hand and so this is see clavicle fracture this extra was given also and a, a significant feature that is coming supporting the other hand with the uh, a normal end so this is in clavicle fracture seen in clavicle fracture now this is the images of multiple and chondromas will is given and uh, see you can they are not brown tumors no exhaust exostosis and uh, they are multiple and chordomas now knee spanning external fixator this image was given with suture line in this and so knee spanning this is knee spanning external fixator now patient came with galaxies fracture with the sharp ends soft tissue swelling was seen on the wrist on x-ray so what will be the management so or if like open reduction and internal fixation will be the management not checking the vascularity close reduction and external fixation this will not be done now ballistic movement subthalamic nuclei uh, is responsible for ballistic movement now patient hypothalamic thermostat and reset from a to c so what happens during the process at b the process at b from uh, reset from a to c and uh, options are inhibition of chemical thermogenesis shivering sweating and increase skin blood flow so this is the answer increase skin blood flow now baroreceptor mechanism in bp control which type of regulation is this is this image was given see this is kind of negative feedback regulation you can see clearly see this now correct regarding the systometrogram so it is uh, one is residual urine this is wrong and if you can see one b is uh, related to lapis law this is the correct answer point two is mixture due to mixturation no and line two explains the pressure volume when mixturation failed to happen this is also wrong so one b is red lapis law this is the correct answer true about pain fibers so the pressure susceptibility is a, a is greater than b fibers greater than c this is the correct sequence this is the correct answer also now patient with drooping angle of mouth inability to blow which nerve is involved this is the clear cut uh, bell's palsy in uh, clinical features so facial nerve this is number seven is involved other options three not there five and nine these are not the answer now ligament derived from this mark structure you can see this is a little controversial question so linorenal is the answer i guess now you can discuss it in the comments below 
the most common site of intraperitoneal abscess this is morrison's pouch now neuromuscular uh, blockage monitoring through adductor pollicis it is uh, you can monitor ulnar nerve blockage uh, for through adductor pollicis this is the image given now lady with rheumatoid arthritis presented with this clinical condition this is very much significant of sclero malaria perforance it is very much related with ra this is the correct answer what is the indication what is this image showing this is showing intracorneal ring segments and it is done for keratoconus now diabetic retinopathy both eyes and neovascularization new vascularization is present with school visual acuity is 6 by 9 what will be the best best management so pan retinal photocoagulation prp is the best because we have mentioned neovascularization this is very important it is present so prp will be done now dna packing in chromosome is done by which of the following proteins the histone protein is responsible for that so this is the correct answer the nucleotide replacing another leading to stop codon so we are talking about the stop codon this is always due to nonsense mutation not silent mutation not missense mutation so this is nonsense mutation and neutrophil extracellular traps what is the false statement about the so mitochondrial dna chromatin network with antibacterial enzymes and present with blood during the sep present in blood during the sepsis so what is the correct answer what is the false statement it is not present in blood during the sepsis now fad status in the body uh, is determined by glutathione reductase levels now a four year boy um, while falls while trying to run and is failed to squat also now options incorrect options are and that differential diagnosis you can make is duchenne muscular dystrophy uh, then options are microsomal dis or storage disorder and death occur in the second to third decade of the life this is the correct and uh, this is incorrect so this is the answer for this is because duchenne muscular dystrophy is mitochondrial storage disorder not a microsomal storage disorder now which of the following causes delay in the aging process so decrease in calorie uptake it does not delay in aging daily walking for 30 minutes does not delay in aging but eliminating the harmonic stressors they are they cause delay in aging process this is the correct answer the pregnant woman of urban area in madhya pradesh motivated by asha worker and got deliver in an institute incentives under janini sesho yojana 1000 for mother and 400 for asha in urban whereas in rural there is 1400 and 600 for mother and asha respectively in rural areas now manure and seed distribution by which organization in nutritional health program is correct so unicef is uh, organizing this now our job as a medical officer uh, giving instructions over phone no and this is a seamless uh, simulate disaster and assessing the response this is the correct answer and uh, public health education this is the correct answer prepare public financially this is not the correct answer but these two are the correct answers now health worker has to be prepared for outreach she received vials uh, two vials both open one pentavalent and one mr both are open what she should do use both no discard both no use penta and discard mr yes because uh, pentavalent open can be used but mr cannot be used so they have to dis you have to discard mr now broken while discarded in blue bags blue bags now most logical and cost cost effective approach of controlling rabies in urban population so removing the stray dogs and vaccinating the uh, vaccine dog population this is uh, the correct answer now many children now uh, from a community coming to a hospital uh, as detected were defect detected as an all hospital said uh, that it is due to chemical water this is due to chemical water and in case control study to find the chemical and all are associated what will be the what will be taken as control so children of the same community no and children with all not exposed to chemical water 
yes this will be taken as a control and that this will also not the answer this is the answer second is the answer now a study conducted to see relation between green tea and its effect on type 2 dm the risk ratio is 0.8 what does this mean this is a negative associate this means that this is ne negatively associated and this is no, so the answer will be this reduces the risk of type 2 dm now at risk infant what can you see see what the option single mother birth order is get three now uh, birth weight is 2.5 kgs and artificial feeding so single parent is the risk infant if the uh, birth weight will be less than 2.5 it will be at risk infant the answer will be this now what is the true regarding uh, need to start urban csc in an area so population one to one from five lakhs no 100 bed facility no and uh, referral center for three psc no and uh, if there is uh, no district or sub district and there is in that area and they will be starting a new urban csc this is the correct answer a 12 week primary came to you for checkup current advice correct advice you will give to her uh, regarding additional cal calorie requirement so the answer will be 300 calories in all trimesters you should advise additionally in all trimesters this is the correct answer now mdrtb have resistance to which of the following drugs isoniazid and rifampicin this is the correct answer they are resistant to an mdrtb now baby with diarrhea of four weeks born to hiv positive mother what should be done check the hiv dna pcr to know the viral status of the baby this is the correct answer now history of tb and the patient is put up negative after intensive and continuous phase continuous phase now what is the current status of the tb now treatment complete cured and not follow up it is cured because putum is negative so it is cured now borderline tuberculoid leprosy lesions on the forehead nose extend to bilateral cheeks with nose affected so which of the following nerves are involved I, and this is a little controversial question bilateral facial nerve is the correct answer for the c then this picture has been uh, noted bilateral cheeks with affected nose and forehead is also affected now anogenital warts at due to hpv 18 not to 2 11 and 5 this is the 18 is the correct answer now alopecia with nail changes with metharosis and with behavior changes seen in which poisoning so it is seen in arsenic poisoning now 20 year old male complaint of recurrent epistaxis with nose blockage and some radiological findings so this is the radiological findings the image and um, so it is juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma Now, which will cause potassium to shift back into the cell so epinephrine the beta agonist glycogen atropine and lactic acid so answer will be epinephrine and now hyperventilated lung one side is suggested a foreign body with localized decrease air entry so this is uh, fiber optic removal will be the answer for the management now patient uh, has decreased hearing and in increased frequency of sound which of the part is most commonly involved so stria vascular is most commonly involved if they have asked as a close relationship with basilar membrane then vas stria vascularis will be the answer and part of scalar media because stri stria vascularis is the rest part of scalar media now patient conscious with palpitations and uh, ventricular tachycardia in the ecg management will be iv amiodaron now digoxin overdose induced arrhythmias what will be the management uh, iv lidocaine when the patient is stable and dc cardioversion if patient is unstable now drug, drug of choice for paracetamol poisoning and acetylcysteine is the correct answer and uh, opioid poisoning antidote that is nalox naloxone now antidepressive overdose management now tca poisoning the answer is iv bicarbonates now x-ray showing see cardiomegaly with bilateral hilar opacities with hypertension so this is the perfect picture for hypertensive heart failure so what will the treatment iv gtn will be the treatment for this hypertensive heart failure now mechanism of action of bottle in toxins 
prevention of ACH release presynaptically. This is the mechanism of action. Now, features suggestive of migraine. So, immediate drug to be given is sumatriptan orally because they are used in acute attacks and uh, flunarizine, topiramate and these are prophylactics. Now, patient with recurrent episode of headache and vomiting, diagnosis is pituitary adenoma, does not need surgery. So, which drug will you advise? The bromocyptin will be the answer in pituitary adenoma. Now, ferrous sulfate overdose, what will be the management? So, desferoxamine for iron toxicity is given. So, this is the answer. Patient with tumor lysis syndrome, what will be the management? Resburicase is being given. This is the drug of choice for tumor lysis syndrome. Now, person with the rigidity, tremor and on examination, he has facial expressions of Parkinsonism. So, what will be the management? Now, what will be the drug given? Selegiline will be the drug of choice. What are these? These are Mao B inhibitors. This mask was asked that is NRBM. This is the NRBM mask and this is non-breathable mask. Non-breathable mask and NRBM mask. This is and now POD orange appearance. Now it is seen uh, in subdermal lymphatics of the breast due to and this is the POD classical POD orange appearance seen in carcinoma breast. Now this picture, controlled cord tractions uh, which causes tear in placenta, uh, next step in management. This is the procedure of controlled cord traction. Now there is a tear with heavy bleeding, uh, tear in placenta. Now what to do? Uh, we will be doing the blood transfusion and remove the placenta by Creed's method. Now patient presented with eclampsia by giving, uh, so MGSO4 was given, now uh, she is complaining with bilateral absence of patellar jerk. Now what is the reason behind it? So it is the reason, the MGSO4 toxicity, which causes uh, mm, absence of patellar jerk. And if there is greater than 15 milliequivalent, the MGSO4 levels, now it can cause, it can cause cardiac issues. Now this picture was given and uh, this area is uh, uh, that was asked. So this is the mid pelvis, not the pelvis inlet, not the pelvis outlet. Now this picture was given and uh, which investigation is this? So this is thromboelastography. Now this picture uh, was given uh, which was uh, signifying pneumothorax. And uh, the management was asked, so intercostal drain placement is the management for the same. Now, pregnant lady uh, of uh, 32 weeks gestation develop proteinuria and hypertension. Now, doctors suspecting of the placental insufficiency and it is due to extra villous cytotrophoblast invasion in the spinal, spiral artery. The main cause is this. Uh, the extra villous cytotrophic invasion in the spiral artery at 32 weeks of gestation and developing proteinuria. If there is no invasion, then it is placenta previa. Now, uh, lady with low mood on the third day of the delivery, after delivery, it is due to postpartum blues. Now, patient on amino aminophylin develops side effects like uh, seizures and diuresis. So, it is due to adenosine alpha-1 mediated receptor which acts on, uh, these drugs act on these kind of receptors. Now, antiemetic which is used in cancer patients for chemo-induced vomiting. So, what will be given? The metoclopramide will be the drug of choice for this because they are D2 blockers. Now, broken vial, uh, broken vaccine vials are discarded in which bags? They are discarded in blue, red, yellow, black. They are discarded in blue bags. Because in red, human anatomical waste and gloves and yellow, uh, dirty gauze pieces and black, other waste materials are there. Now, cell communication types. So, this diagram was given. This is paracrine communication because its signaling molecules only affect the target cells in close proximity to secreting cells. This is cell communication type. Now patient on ATT uh, as a occasional drinker 
and complaining of tingling sensation it is due to the deficiency of which of the following vitamin so i vitamin b6 because isoniazid causes the deficiency of vitamin b6 that is the pyridoxin now what is the bar warburg's effect it is the metabolites which are used by the cancer cancerous cells uh, in other pathways this causes the warburg's effect now aging aging and telomerase action was asked so telomerase decreases while aging now history given of a child suggestive of celiac disease which actually dq2 that confirms the celiac disease now diet which should be avoided in celiac disease this is very simple question because gluten diet is avoided and not the fatty diet now doctor on duty operates under alcohol influence leads to vessel cut and patient dies this is criminal negligence and it is not a civil negligence or a therapeutic one now patient uh, female 32 years of age and uh, had a history of covid eight eight months back and uh, complaints of heavy hair fall so what is the cause behind it telogen effluvium now history of sickle cell anemia in child it now develops signs and symptoms what which are suggestive of osteomyelitis the likely cause is the likely cause is salmonella and not staphylococcus aureus now enzyme deficiency which leads to uh, which is seen in um, lead poisoning is uh, ferrochelatase enzyme this is deficient and uh, not ala synthetase now this diagram was given in which red swollen testes with the uh, acute pain uh, the complaints was there so it is of fournier's gangrene and the management is uh, ruthless debridement to expose the which expose testes both the testes Now this picture, this is showing acanthosis nigrans and uh, this is seen in uh, mostly PCOD or any like metabolic syndrome. So the answer is metabolic syndrome and uh, cardiac collapse during delivery with profuse bleeding and history of DIC. So what, uh, what can be the cause? The cause is uh, this is a very controversial question so but i think the answer should be amniotic fluid embolism now you can discuss below what you have marked uh, so we can discuss this later also i think it, the answer should be amniotic fluid embolism now at the level of ischial spine rt molding is double plus and caput is double plus so what is the management so no doubt the management is lscs because on when it is on the level of ischial spine the it is zero station so uh, we can't use vacuum and forceps Vac these both are contraindicated when the when it is on zero station contraindications for cervical cartilage so it is uh, contraindicated when there is a rupture of fetal membranes and uh, it is not contraindicated in prolapse now position of uterus on day two after delivery so that is one finger below the umbilicus one two three four but answer is one finger below umbilicus now mother uh, 18 months postpartum still breastfeeding the baby with irregular and heavy menses and she wants contraception so in this uh, see the options were pro prostate third and uh, net n ocps and iocds so first of all we will talking we will be talking about prostate as a which is not used now in, in spite of this mirena is used now now net n is a progesterone injection but it is not used uh, now copper iucd this is contraindicated in uh, heavy bleed so we will be giving uh, in 18 months postpartum oc pills will be the best choice for contraception now multiple fractures of long bones in fetus in antenatal scan so what can be the 
diagnosis so osteogenesis imperfecta due to this these the multiple fractures of long bones in antenatal skin you can detect now history of oligohydramnios seen with it is seen with renal agenesis now contraindication for iud insertion see again i have just mentioned before that uh, contraindications for iud is heavy bleeding or menses so this will be the answer and not after delivery and not trophoblastic diseases now patient with hemolysis with increased liver enzymes and uh, low platelets like 70 75000 platelets and uh, liver enzymes the ldh is raised to 700 and alt and asds dots dpt are raised so this is all the scenario is making of help syndrome h e l l p syndrome this slide was given and uh, the history was given like farmer uh, who is having trauma injury and uh, is a cauliflower growth over the leg like this these are the cauliflower growth like on the legs and uh, in this histology copper penny bodies are seen you can see copper penny bodies so and uh, branching hyphae are seen so the answer is chromoblastomycosis this is uh, the typical features all the features are suggestive of that only so that is the answer see cauliflower growth now dimorphic fungi uh, fungi with the red color rivers and uh, this fungal infection is seen in hiv positive male so which of the which of the following organism is there so teleromyces marnifi this is the answer it is uh, seen in hiv positive cases and with it is a dimorphic fungi with red color rivers is seen now vaginal candidiasis which medium is used to identify the species in vaginal candidiasis uh, so uh, options were sd agar brain heart infusion agar and chrome agar so chrom chrome agar is used and it is the answer for this question to diagnose vaginal diagnosis species now a 12 year old boy came with right upper quadrant pain and icterus and fever and examination shows tender hepatomegaly and there is no history of dyspnea hematuria blood bloody stools and uh, there is a conjunctive conjunctival suffusion is there this that is present to with the 12 year old boy so the options were leptospirosis chikungunya uh, fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever but the answer is leptospirosis because this triad is seen the jaundice with tender hepatomegaly and with splenomegaly with conjunctival, conjunctival suffusion this is seen in leptospirosis now military person with a rash on the body and uh, sparing the palms soles and lies present on examination so this is uh, uh, easy that the organisms were rickettsia pro provexi is the answer provexi not typhi not akari now best investigation to detect clostridium difficile c this is uh, the options were gdh and toxin assay gds assay alone and aerobic culture of the stool because it is seen in stool so gda and toxin gdh and toxin assay this is done to best investigation to detect the clostridium difficile this otoscope finding was given with the history of uh, in the question child with hearing loss for two months and this in this otoscopic finding we can see fluid and air bubbles so fluid and air bubbles these are seen in the otoscopic findings of serous otitis media that's a som now a adult male in restaurant who is conscious and sudden choking on food on having food so what maneuver is done so hamlich maneuver is done that is the abdominal thrust that that is done options were abdominal thrust like hamlich maneuver chest thrust and blind finger incision these are not done chest thrust is not done abdominal thrust or hamlich maneuver is maneuver maneuver is done now samster triad was given in which rhinosinusitis with polyposis asthma with NSAIDs intolerance was given so which drug is needed to be avoided so aspirin is avoided in semester triad in these triad because it is also known as aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease aerd so this is very important 
and uh, you need to remember this for further exams also now which of the following is not included in who step approach so behavior psychological physical these three were included and the therapeutics these are not included in the who step approach c behavior lifestyle and uh, substance use substance use exercise diet these are inclusive in the physical and biochemistry biochemistry measurements physical and biochemistry measurements these are all included but therapeutics are not included in who step approach recall so uterine artery uh, doppler done at the 12 to 14 weeks so what would it detect so it detects early onset pre eclampsia and this is the answer it is done only for detecting early onset disease like pre eclampsia now acidic fluid which is, has increased uh, pmn cell count like the polymorphonuclear cells which is greater than 600 per ml so what it indicates it indicates spontaneous bacterial peritonitis now this image was given uh, which and ask which type of hymen is this so you can see a septa in between so this is a septate hymen this was asked now image based question with uh, frequent pus discharge from a sinus uh, in uh, perianal area perianal area with the frequent uh, complaints of frequent pus discharge so what what can be the diagnosis it is fistula in no for sure now varicose vein surgery uh, followed by patient came with the history of varicose vein surgery and followed by medial loss of sensation in the legs numbness in the legs in the medial side to so which nerve is involved so saphenous nerve is involved and not a sural nerve many of them are asking about the sural nerve but it is saphenous nerve which is involved now which which is not found in men 2b syndrome so in men 2b syndrome there is mucosal neuroma and morphinoid morphinoid habitus they are present and megacolon is also present in men 2b syndrome can be seen in men 2b syndrome now so parathyroid adenomas they are associated with 2a hyperplasia 2a men 2a syndrome not 2b syndrome now this image was given in which this bone was exposed and this is a typical image of grade 4 bed sore now female with uti uh, started on drugs uh, for uti and which caused a tendon injury and then children so tendon injury is caused by uh, fluoroquinolones and including the ofloxacin and fluoroquinolones these are responsible for tendon injuries uh, which, uh, which causes these causes drug induced these drugs are responsible for drug induced tendonitis or tendon injuries now TCA toxicity, what is the management? So, management is uh, gastric lavages and all, but the options in the options, and there is IV bicarbonates, and this is the mechanism best management. This is the management of choice for TCA toxicity. Now, PCSK9 inhibitors, what are these inhibitors? These are asked in previous AIMS exams also. So, they are alirocumab and evolocumab. So, cumab is there in these inhibitors and uh, alirocumab is the answer for this now growth hormone receptor antagonist what are the growth hormone receptor antagonist so pag mint is the drug for uh, growth hormone receptor antagonist now management for restless leg syndromes now what is the management so premipaxole and romi ropinirole these are the management for rest, restless leg syndrome, premipexol and ropinirole. Now, which of the following drug has the least side effect on pleura? So, out of the options like uh, metformin, bromocryptin and nitrofurantoin, metformin has the least side effect on pleura. So, 
राइस वाटर डायरिया इज ड्यू टू इंटॉक्सिकेशन ऑफ विच ऑफ द गैंगलियोसाइड जी एम वन गैंगलियोसाइड इज इन्वॉल्व बाय इंटॉक्सिकेशन बिकॉज इट इज इंटॉक्सिकेटेड बाय द कोलेरा टॉक्सिन ना मोस्ट कॉमन कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ अनट्रीटेड रेडियल हेड डिसलोकेशन दिस द माल यूनियन विद क्यूबाइटस वायरस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्कड ना टाइप ऑफ यूवीआईटिस विच इज सीन इन सिंपथेटिक ऑपथेलमोपैथी सो नॉट एंटीरियर एंड नॉट पोस्टीरियर पेन यूवीआईटिस इज सीन द ऑप्शन फॉर एंटीरियर पोस्टीरियर पेन सो पेन यूवीआईटिस वॉज सीन now uh, you can see uh, this image was given and uh, bitot uh, spots were uh, there in the this image and which vitamin deficiency was asked so vitamin a deficiency uh, bitot spots are seen in their ophthalmia now a primary woman with normal regular cycles now delayed for 2 weeks with uh, vaginal bleeding uh, with abdominal pain and beta hcg is uh, 1400 upt is negative and uh, blood plus blood pressure is normal uh, an ultrasound uterus tri laminar appearance is given so what is the next step in management so next step is we have to repeat beta scg in 48 hours this is the answer we have to repeat beta scg in 48 hours now which site of implantation causes severe vaginal bleed when uh, question was given that 22 week primary woman uh, with the blood pressure normal uh, came to emergency with profuse vaginal bleed so this is seen in uh, 22 weeks placenta previa and uh, and when the implantation is on uh, internal os there is severe vaginal bleed now patient had history of c section in uh, previous pregnancy now she is 34 weeks pregnant and she is insisting of uh, vaginal delivery and in ultrasound there is fetus in breech so what will be the management so it will be c section at 37 weeks and uh, vaginal delivery is contraindicated and because of previous pregnancy is c section now this image was given in which you can see appreciate the target sign and which is seen in pseudo exfoliate glaucoma pseudo exfoliate glaucoma this was the answer now uh, stimulus for testosterone release in fetus and uh, it is due to hcg produced by the placenta it is uh, the testosterone stimulus it is due to hcg produced by the placenta now uh, there is was a question which in which child presented with exercise fatigue and uh, differential diagnosis is macardless disease so what is the enzyme defect in this so enzyme defect is myo phosphorylase this is the enzyme defect defect myo phosphorylase now this uh, histology image was seen in which michaelis gutman bodies are seen so it is of which disease it is of melacoplakia this uh, histology image was given so first question there was a radiological image seen in which claw sign was seen and in a 11 month old child with pain abdomen so this is mainly seen in into susception so the answer was into susception and not mal rotation or anything because claw sign is seen in uh, into susception on this is a barium enema image so this is the answer was into susception now uh, this uh, was asked to identify the ear ossicles so this image was asked and this was marked so incus uh, was asked it was marked an ear ossicle which was asked was incus so answer was incus and now oil drop sign typical oil drop sign was asked and uh, it is due to nail bed parakeratosis and it is seen in uh, which disease so psoriasis it is seen in so this was the answer and oil drop sign now secular aneurysms are seen in which of the following diseases and so subarachnoid hemorrhage the answer is it is seen in subarachnoid hemorrhage now this scan as uh, this image was given the orange and red appearance of the whole body with some yellowish and all the parts so which of which of this scan is this is pet ct scan the positron emission tomography pet ct the answer is pet ct now 
एच एस जी इमेज गिवेन एंड दिस इज सी बाई कॉर्नोएट यूट्रस वॉज द आंसर दिस इज बाई कॉर्नोएट यूट्रस और सेप्टेट यूट सो दिस वॉज द आंसर एंड दिस एच एस डी इमेज वॉज गिवेन टू आइडेंटिफाई नाउ दिस इमेज वॉज गिवेन दिस and this is staghorn calculi this is a urology question and uh, in the x ray ku bhi was given and uh, this is the staghorn calculi and not any structure now uh, this question was given and this chest x ray was given and gas in the diaphragm is can be seen you can appreciate the gas in the diaphragm so what will be the management uh, gas in the diaphragm is due to intestinal perforation and the management is emergency laparotomy and proceed now uh, next question g6p deficiency is given so it affects which metabolic pathway so it affects the hmp pathway now crumbled tissue appearance was is given and which is the which enzyme is defective in this so it is seen in crumbled tissue appearance is seen in gotcher's disease and it is due to the deficiency of glucocerebrosidase enzyme now complex 4 inhibitors are this is one liner and very much asked so cyanide is the answer and uh, no confusion in this now cherry red spots give uh, in with mental retardation this is the typical features of tay sachs disease and it is very easy one liner now this histology image was given and uh, in which they, you can appreciate cell next uh, nest and uh, isogenous cells were given so this is of which cartilage it is uh, they are seen in hyaline cartilage 